Welcome to Mobile World Congress Day 2. My expertise is virtual reality and there's loads on offer here at the Congress, including here at our very own IEEE stand. People often complain that VR isolates us and no one else can see what's going on. Masters of Shapes are going to change that. Using Vive's tracking technology, they're using mobile phones to give us a window on a multiplayer VR world where friends and family can now take part in the action instead of just being spectators. But of course, VR is not just about the games, and there are some really nice industrial and enterprise applications. At the HTC stand, I was really excited to see BioLucid's UVR, which let me not just get inside the human body, but to see the effect of different diseases on my organs, but also to see what treatments my doctor might give me, how they would affect those organs, and kind of help me to feel better. It's a really good patient visualization tool. Qualcomm have also got some really interesting developments on display. I got my hands on Google Tango's new augmented reality platform. I tried out their app that allows me to pick furniture from Amazon and just place it straight into the room and move it around in the 3D space. I put the TV on the wall and even in the suboptimal lighting in the Congress, the tracking and the registration of the objects was really good. Still at the Qualcomm stand, I tried out Leap Motion's new mobile VR platform. Now Leap Motion lead the way in contactless hand tracking. But now it's come to mobile VR, this is what I've been waiting for. VR interaction should be almost invisible and Leap Motion's hand tracking is coming close. Finally, of course, VR is not just about what we see, but also about what we hear. And Wave NX are introducing their virtualized audio, where they take 5.1 or stereo sound files and convert them into full head-tracked immersive experiences. So it feels like you're sitting in the room listening to the music. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you tomorrow for more from Mobile World Congress 2017.